Okay, so I'm going to do one last quick video going over our last linear data structure. This one's going to be a Q. Now, it is very, very similar to our stack, in which case it is essentially like a linked list with a specific restriction. Instead of LIFO this time, it's going to be FIFO, and we'll get into what that is in just one moment. So, if we look at it, again, very, very similar data structure, non-primitive, linear, and somewhere in between an array and a linked list. So, these <coughs> are less commonly done with contiguous memory like arrays and are usually more in line like a linked list. They're going to be more dynamic by nature just because they're not really anything memory wise. This is more in terms of just structuring data. So contiguous memory really isn't a relevant factor here. This is just another linear abstract data structure, but we're using FIFO this time. So that means that our first input should be our first output and this is far more similar to a linked list specifically a singly linked list so let's take a look if we have an element here point to an element next to it point to an element next to it so on and so forth continuously going now let's say actually you know, let's rewrite that because the actual timing of how this works is important so if we think about our linked list, let's imagine we input at the beginning each time. So we start at the end here, and then the next one's here, next one's here. So we're constantly inputting at the beginning, and we're going to remove from the end because our first input, which was this, should be our first output. So when we remove something, it should be that one, then this one, this one, and this one. So first input, first output, we have FIFO. If you see LILO or LILO, however you want to say that, it's the same thing. They're interchangeable. Last input should be the last output. First input should be the first output. Not a big deal there. So here, exact same node class you saw in linked list and in stacks. Just going to be our typical integer data with a node for next pointer since we only have single direction default constructor. And then finally, our actual integer based instru constructor. And here we have our Q class. This is going to be more similar to the linked list. In this case, we have front and a rear, and then our length as usual. That's going to be these two, two different node based pointers, and then our integer to keep track of the number of elements. And more similar to the stack, though, is just our basic constructor and deconstructor, but we only have two methods of inserting and removing data in Q and DayQ, and then we also have the same peak and display Q. Also, if you say DayQ or DQ, it's basically with the same thing. If you say it differently, man, that's perfectly fine. No big deal. But in this case, let's go ahead and add some nodes. This is going to be our NQ method. So to add nodes to our queue, simply just add them to the end of it. So first thing is go ahead and create that node. So let's go ahead and create something. Let's give it a value of, uh, let's say, 9. So it's going to be cur. That's going to be our, our node right now. We're going to increase the length. So it's going to keep track of the size. You're going to do a check if it's empty. If it is empty, then we're just going to set it front and rear to current, so that would be front and also rear. So it's the only element, so it has to be the front and the rear simultaneously. And then you return, not a big deal. Now, if it's not, and let's assume that this nine is there, we'll create some, so this, now this is front and rear, we're just gonna do F and R. Let's create some new data. So an eight, the next pointer. Okay, so rear next should be current. So rear's next should point to current. So now we're pointing to this eight. So it's linked into our list essentially, which is going to be our queue. And we set rear equal to cur. So now our front is not going to be adjusted, but the rear is. So now we have the front of the queue is nine and the rear of it is eight. So it's going to be enqueuing some data. If we want to put a seven in there, do the same thing, point to the seven adjust our rear and we're good to go. Moving on we do day queue 
And this is essentially just going to be removing from the very beginning. So again, the first in is going to be the first output. So let us see. Since we're removing data, as usual, we're going to basically just check to see if it's empty. If it is, they're going to tell the user that, work out. I, I think I should have a return statement here, but I don't think I do. Uh, this should be fine. Decrease the length, and then we will simply create a tracker for the node for front adjust our front to what it points to and then delete the node. So if we take a look at that, how it looks, let's do eight pointing to a nine, pointing to a 10, pointing to a 13. So again, first thing we input was this eight. It's the front, here's the rear, <coughs> excuse me. Then we have front equals front next. So we're basically just gonna adjust where front is associated with and then delete the node. Uh, this was associated as node, by the way. So just delete that. So now front being 9, 10, so we do it again. This is now node based on this line right here. Then we adjust our front based on this line, and then we delete node. That's about it. So very, very similar to stack with push and pop. Um, those are the restrictions on FIFO, so not too much to it. And then peak, exact same thing, except for we are checking front as opposed to top for stack. So just check what would be removed next from our queue. And then here for viewing it is going to be almost, I think it's identical to the singly linked list where we just go from the front to the rear. I think for length list, I think it was head to the tail, but not a whole lot going on there. Pretty simple. Now, this queue is a lot more like the linked list in terms of how we interact with it, view it, because there is a beginning, there's an end, it has a single direction, but it's more like the stack in terms of the restricted aspect of how we add and remove data. So this one really is basically just a very restricted linked list. Even though both the stack and the queue are restricted linked lists by nature, this one really drives that home in the terms that there's two main parts, the front and the rear is the same thing as the head and tail basically. And then it has one direction so that's like a singly linked list. And then also it has more of a natural like left to right data when you read it as opposed to the vertical nature of the stack. But for the restriction, the FIFO restriction, that's very, very similar to a LIFO restriction. So this is basically just a specialized linked list by a lot of accounts. So hopefully explains what a queue is. Now, in terms of why you want to use them, I think uh, one good real world example would be like uh, taking in orders from a fast food restaurant or something. You have one car come in, they'll place an order that goes into the queue. Second car comes in, place an order that goes into the queue. Third car, so on and so forth. And then the first one that was your first order should be the first one that is delivered and continuously so on and so forth. So again, that linear nature should have some structure to it. So we enforce that structure through the FIFO restriction. So that's basically the best example I can give for a queue. Stacks are a little bit more used in terms of like computing aspects with low level memory, but queues are more of like a human paradigm of how we want to enforce the moving of data. But aside from that, hope you learned something. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.